Let's walk through the charting experience on the iPad. Make sure to go to your iPad and open up the Dr. Chrono EHR app. Once you're here, you'll see your appointments listed on the left-hand side, and on the main screen, you'll see more appointment and patient details. Let's start the visit for Chris. We can adjust the appointment status to say that he's now in session, and then click Start Visit to begin. Once inside your clinical note, you'll see on the left-hand side you have the HNP workflow forms as well as the SOAP note forms, and any additional forms under the additional section. In the HNP section, you can fill out the relevant sections and also reference information. For instance, the MedFam social history section I have made persistent in the medical form builder. You can review the medical form builder options video for a refresher on how to make forms persistent. This will then copy the information from the last date of service from the clinical note and automatically populate it into the fields for today's visit, saving me some time. In the medications and allergies section, I can see the patient's active medication list and add or edit as needed. To add a medication, tap the plus icon in the top right hand corner and type the medication name. You can also remove medications by tapping on the medication name, swiping left, and clicking delete. Click on the allergies tab to view the patient's allergies. And you can also check for any drug to drug or drug allergy interactions. Review of systems here. We have the default designed so that you can quickly switch on everything that is normal and it will generate the statement with all the negatives but if there is something significant you would like to note, you can simply tap on the multiple select dropdown on the right hand side and mark what the positives and negatives are. You can also add comments in the short text box. Simply tap into the short text box and your keyboard will appear. You'll notice here in any short text box that you can also use macro buttons, which are these buttons across the top. You can also use the medical speech to text dictation the microphone icon in the top left of your keyboard. To hide the keyboard, just tap the key in the bottom right hand corner. The physical exam is also designed similarly. From any screen, you can also access the patient's vitals for this date of service by tapping vitals, and this will also pull up a history for the last four visits. On the iPad EHR, you can also run data visualization to track vitals over time. Tap on the patient's name to reveal the patient menu. And from here, click data visualization. For instance, we can track the patient's blood pressure over the past few months and see how that's been trending. In the assessment section, you can review and edit the patient's ongoing problem list. The ICD-10 screen we are on now will populate the ICD-10 codes for this visit. We can tap on the Problems tab, and this will take us to the patient's ongoing problem list. On this list, the patient has a diagnosis. If we would like to bill for the code in today's visit, click the Add to Billing button. Now when we go back to the ICD-10 section, you'll see that that code has been added to today's visit, Similarly, if you add a code to this ICD-10 screen, you can tap the button on the right-hand side to add it to the problem list. Plan section on the left-hand side. Maybe we had ordered some labs for the patient, as well as recommended some PT. In the billing section, you can select any of your billing profiles for your bundles of codes as well as any CPT and HICPIC codes. You can utilize the PIC list, which is also your fee schedule, to select codes you would like to apply for this visit. Tap View Complete Note at the end of your clinical interaction to review the documentation you've done so far. Even if you are not yet ready to sign and lock the note right now, 
This is a good practice as it will save a copy of your documentation in our servers and you can always return to this information later to edit or then lock the note. So long as you have a steady and solid internet connection, your work will be saved as you click field to field. If at any time you need to review the patient's documents in the visit with the patient, you can tap the history section and this will pull up prior clinical notes. You can also filter by documents using the filter at the bottom of the left column. Your complete clinical note will be comprised of any medical forms that you have filled out in today's visit, as well as any of the fields within those forms that you have filled out. If you leave any specific fields or entire medical forms blank, those simply will not be included in today's clinical note. In any form section, you can print or fax out just this section. Maybe the patient wants a copy of your recommendations. Simply tap the file sharing icon in the top right hand corner, the square with the arrow pointed up, and you have the options to either print, fax, or save the entire section as a separate document in the patient chart. When you save the section, you also have the option to add a signature. This is especially great if you need to generate any kind of letters or documentation for your patient's reference. You can find this section saved as a separate document, again in the history section of the patient chart. When you're ready to sign and lock the note, just come back to this visit, click view complete note, and tap sign and lock. This will now add your e-signature to the bottom of each page of the clinical note with the date and timestamp as well. We generally do not recommend unlocking a note. Instead, if you do need to add or change any documentation, add it as an amendment, which will have its own date and timestamp. This will be added to the end of your clinical note. When you're done with the visit, you can close out of this screen in the top left-hand corner, mark the appointment status as complete, and then move on to your next patient. Check out our other videos for an in-depth look at clinical tools and how to chart on the web EHR on the computer.